Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today our topic is about false prophets. You know, there is many before and many after and many in the future they will claim to be prophets. And uh, I'm thinking actually me myself to change my career and announce myself as a prophet. But I cannot be a Muslim prophet because I don't have the qualification. I don't like kids, I mean, in the bed. And I don't like to steal the neighbor's furniture or wife. And I don't like lying or cheating. So I'm trying to work on myself to fix that problem. You know, so I decided to join Islamic school. As you know, I have a degree in Islamic school. And I said to myself, I need to fix that. I mean, enough is enough. It takes time. But after many years, still, it's not really working good. So I hope today some Muslims can help us and call us live on air and, you know, help me to be qualified to be a Muslim prophet. We have a sheikh, his name is uh, Shabir Ali. And Shabir Ali is, you know, a person supposedly he was going to debate me one day and then he took a hike for the sake of his career. Shabir Ali, and uh, later I discovered that the lady with him, she's his daughter, I thought she is someone else, a stranger. Uh, she's his daughter and now they call her doctor. So she is doctor too. I don't know doctor and what, but don't tell, don't ask. And they have a title in the video, by the way, in the link, so we gave him a credit. Does the Quran tell us how to recognize false prophets? <laughs> I found this is very hilarious. The false prophet Muhammad is going to tell us how to recognize false prophet. <laughs> Isn't it? This is something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I can take this I can take this as the following you know I heard like once I was sitting with a friend he's from the FBI he said uh, to me we hire hackers I said what he said we hire hackers I said why you hire hackers I thought you arrest them he said no no <laughs> we hire them because they are very useful you know, we hire them uh, so they can, uh, you know, uh, find like security problem, etc. You know, so we made them as a contract. Like, can you find a hole in our system or etc. So, ah, okay. So we hire a hacker to find out from the expert of cheating and lying and deceiving. So the Mohammedan today. They decide to hire Muhammad, who is hacking everyone else believe, who is the biggest false prophet, obviously, to teach them how to catch a false prophet, because he will tell you about his, your, his own <laughs> experience. <laughs> so does the Quran tell us how to recognize false prophet? And then surprisingly, if you go to the beginning of the video, you will see the daughter of Shabir Ali. She say that Jesus said, from their fruit you shall know them. What? Quranspeaks.com. Dr. Shabir, the question is, Jesus said to his followers, who are the Christians? Beware of false prophets. Jesus said to his followers, who they were Christians, who we are. Look how deep. Look how deep the knowledge. Shabir Ali, who wrote this presentation, and his daughter, she is reading it, he discovered that the followers of Jesus, they were Christians. Shabir, now I know that you got your PhD for a reason. Look, 
at the details. I know many of you like they would not even notice how stupid this statement is, uh, but for me, I, you know, I see things differently. You know me. You know the thing. I learned from Joe Biden how to be so much into details. So Jesus, he said to his followers who were the Christians, what the heck is that? That's deep. That is seriously messed up. Are you sure they were not the Buddhist or the Hindus? And then they continue saying, be aware of false prophet. And and went on to say, like we skip, we skip the rest. Like, you know what? Why you don't read the rest? <laughs> like, you know what? Jesus he said, uh, you know, be aware of false prophets. So we skip, we jump, like jump here, jump here, jump, jump. Okay, we arrive here. This is the important one. You will know them by their fruits. And went on to say, You will know them by their fruits. Wow, that's deep. And the Muslims now, they are taking the amazing words of Jesus, our Lord. They discovered, after 1400 years of following the false Muhammad, that you will know them by their fruits. And this is my challenge to the Muhammadan. As long as you agree that this is how you know false prophet, what is the fruits of Muhammad? Anyone? Any Muslim can tell us? <laughs> as long as you agree that Jesus, he said, you will know them from by their fruit. You shall know them by their fruits. And actually, this is, goes for everything in life, for your friends, your family, everything. You know, you can use this method, the teaching, the amazing words of the Lord, the Messiah, for everything in your personal life. And trust me, you will never go wrong. People speak good, but they do bad. People they dress nice, but they are dirty. People have nice houses, but their houses is built on everything wrong, evil. The appearance outside is good, inside is a grief. So what is the fruits Muslims are talking about? Any Muslim can tell us? I am wondering what the Quran says to Muslims about false prophet or false teachers or false imams to protect themselves. As we know, there are many so-called men of God from every religion who have fallen You will know them, flesh and money. Flesh and money? Uh, by their fruits. Muslims, really, do you, do you want to practice this method to discover the false prophet? And then, Shushu, Aka Shabir, he decided to go bigger. You know, I have the subtitle, you can read it. He said, Muhammad is the seal of the prophets. He is what? He is the seal of the prophet. You know what? If I am Allah, I will do that. Look like Allah, after he sent Muhammad, he said, never again. <laughs> After Allah, he sent Muhammad and he saw what Muhammad did. He said, what the, what in the hell I just did? I will never do it again. So Allah, he broke the machine which make prophets and he decided that's it. Muhammad is the last one. I will never ever do such a mistake again. <laughs> you know, if we ask the Muslim, by the way, where, 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 I mean, what do you mean the seed of the prophets? I mean, this God, Allah, he was sent, he sent 124,000 messenger. 
You can watch videos of Shabir Ali himself saying that, the, you know, Muslim, we Muslim believe that Allah, he sent 124,000 messengers. So now Allah, that's it. He broke the machine. He will not do no more. Well, like what happened? He's out of gas, electricity, a human being is uh, is better. That's it. No, that's it. You know, no more. That's it. Muhammad is the last prophet. Okay, he's the seal of the prophet. And you know, if we go to the verse where the Muslim they use to prove that Muhammad is a, a last prophet, uh, you will see that the word using the word khatam. The Muslims, because they are so intelligent <laughs> and they are dis disconnected <laughs> with Arabic. So chapter 33, verse number 40, it says, Muhammad, and look, the Muslims, they have to add, look, Muslims, they don't believe Muhammad is God. They believe he's a man, not like normal man. But we have to say here, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah, he pray on him and salute him. He is sergeant Allah. Do you, did you give a salute to Colonel Muhammad? Yes, sir. The drill sergeant. Muhammad is not the father of any among you. Well, because he could not do it, even though Allah supposedly, according to Muhammad, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it, he get the power of 40 men. And what is the benefit of the shish kebab? He is not the man or the father of any of you. And then we will find that every scumbag in the world, he claim that he is descendant from Muhammad. <laughs> How the guy, he have no kids <laughs> and they are descendant of Muhammad. <laughs> Saddam Hussein is descended from Muhammad. The King of Jordan descended from Muhammad. The King of Morocco descended from Muhammad. Al Kazafi descended from Muhammad. I mean, if you go right now in the internet and search in YouTube, you will find endless numbers of people they claim to be descendant of Muhammad, and all of them they are so white, redhead. Seriously. But all of us we knew that Muhammad he used to color his hair. Blonde. If he was blonde, he will not kill it blonde, you idiot. So how your prophet was not blonde and you are blonde? Look what happened. Unbelievable. So here it says that Muhammad is not the father of any men among you, but he is the messenger of Allah, the last and look between two bracket end. He Muslims, who is the one can show me the word last and end in the verse? Who is a Muhammadan? You know, we will go back to the topic with, with not, but just I want to stop here with the word seal of the Prophet because all what the verse says, Khatamun Nabiyin. You know, Khatam, Khatam, the word seal, when uh, when you go to certify something, what they, you know, what they do, let us say you have a transcript like for your university, you're applying to go to different countries. So, what they do? You go to translator, he put his seal. You go to the embassy, or let us say first uh, the foreign minister uh, department, they put their seal. You go to the embassy, they put their seal. You go to the, in the university, uh, they put their seal. So all what the verse saying that Muhammad is the one who put his seal, believing in all the prophet before. It doesn't say he is the last prophet. This is what Khatam mean. Because the Quran says that Muhammad believe in all the prophet came before him. This is what Khatam mean. But anyway, we will let it go. This is what the Muslims understand, what you can do. I mean, are you going to teach Muslim the religion? <laughs> no way. Are you kidding me? Especially Shabir Ali. So then Shabir Ali, he continue and he say, uh, that's mean after the prophet Muhammad, and whom be peace, no other prophet will appear. What the, what the heck? How Muhammad is the last prophet, but Jesus will come back? If Muhammad is the last one, 
Isn't it Jesus coming back? The family of Tabatai is from the Mumu. I know, my friend. Muhammad is like me. I have a, I have kids everywhere. Unbelievable, you know, because I was donating my semen to the bank, the International Semen Bank. And Muhammad, he have look like in his time he he donated his semen to the International. <laughs> You have descendants in Indonesia, in Africa, in America, in Australia. I mean, you name it. Even Zakanaik, by the way, he looked, sound like he is descended from Prophet Muhammad. Good and print. First of all, this is the lie. I never claimed to be descended from Prophet Muhammad. Like Zakanaik, how you jump in my broadcast, man? I did not even call you. How you can do that? Chris and Prince, I live inside your computer, and I'm here, and I'm going to bust it. And I have recorded, I'm going to bust it everywhere. You say that I'm the sender from Baba Muhammad, and this is not true. I never said that. I told you to tell me what I said that. Hey, Zach and I, I was joking. You know, come on. I don't mean it. Chris and Prince, now you're saying you don't mean it. But a second ago, you mean it. So now, every Muslim, please, brother, sister, witness that Prince and Prince is lying to you. And I swear by Allah, and I swear by... Zach and I take it easy, man. Actually, but just hold on, let me finish my conversation. Good and Prince, if you say one more time that I am the tender of Prophet Muhammad, I'm going to throw you in the court of Islamic Sharia law. What Islamic Sharia law? What is that? In the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, 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 where? Zakir? Hello? Well, the descendant of Prophet Muhammad, he dropped the line. And this is very normal from his descendant. They always drop the line. So anyway, and whom be peace be upon, no other prophet will appear. That's it. Muhammad, he said, nobody. That's it. Who is the God? Muhammad. The Quran also warned us against following the desire. Look who is talking. <laughs> Hey, uh, Sha Shabura, uh, you know, as, as long you are a believer in Allah, did you believe in Allah because Allah is convincing or because he promised you 72 versions at least? Be honest. You see, when they say, don't follow, like, warn us against following the desire, but isn't it Islam, all of it is based on desire? Naked women, you will see through their bones. You know, I mean, I like bones, by the way. You know, bones. You put bones, and make you can make a the best soup ever. You know, like bony bone. This is why I like the the the, the, the music band from Afghanistan. It's called Bony M. You know. So the Mr. Bones, okay, Mr. Shabir Ali, he is advising us how to know a false prophet and warn us not to follow and against following the desire. So when the Quran promised us a pillow, you know, sometime I wonder if I want, when Muhammad, he was, uh, he was making the Quran. Did he make the Quran when he was in bed and beyond store look at this how many times he mentioned the word pillows chapter 18 verse number 31 chapter 36 verse number 56 chapter 76 verse number 13 chapter 38 verse number 23 chapter 83 verse number 35 I mean the pillow the pillow the pillow the God who bring me a promise me a pillow and I like specifically this one. 36, 56. It's a music. Me and my wife, wives, we will reclining on our pillows, which is in the couch. Me. And we will be under a cool shade for sure. We need an air condition. Change the translator. Hmm. Let us see Hilali and Khan. Look at this.
We will not sit in the ground. And look, what is the word pillow? The 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 couch have no pillow. Hmm? The couch have no pillow. How that couch can be comfortable? So the Muslim they decide to say, okay, all right. Well, it is uh, couches, you know, so uh, sofa, you know, sofa. Okay. <laughs> what is the pillow? <laughs> Hello, Rocky. <laughs> you know, I like it when Muslims they translate, and I like it when the Muslims explain. <clears throat> it's a uh, it it gives special uh, uh, spice to the Quran. We have to agree about not to agree. You know, the Muslims always, when they, try, they explain something, they agree about not to agree about what the verse mean. You know? How you know first that this is a couch? It can be a bed, have a pillows. It have to have pillows. It can be a mattress. And what kind of God he promised me such a promise that I will be laying down with my wives, not wife, wives, and we will be reclining and we have a lot of pillows. And they will have their in fruits of all kinds next to the couch or to the pillow. They will have their in fruits of all kind. Man, how beautiful. Different verses saying that Allah will give us. Listen, don't listen, you don't don't be driven by your desire. Allah will give us a garden. Beneath the garden, there is river underneath of us. And we will be wearing a bracelet of gold. You see, don't follow your desire. Don't like money. Don't go after money. Don't be fooled by shiny stuff. Allah will make us wear a bracelet of gold. And I'm not going to ask the Muhammadan what is the value of gold in heaven? What the heck is that? And why men they are wearing a bracelet? And they will wear a green garment of fine silk and heavy brocade. And they will be reclining therein on their couches and their beds. Over their pillows. And those are really, really high couches, brother. But Shabir Ali, he said that we should not follow our desire and should not be tempted by desire of money or... But all of this is nothing but temptation. What those promises about? There is many people already, they have all those things. I mean, most of you actually have it already. You can buy a shirt made of real silk for a very cheap price. And how many people they have a gold in their hands? What is the gram of gold? Nothing. It's not really expensive. How many of you have couches at home? What is the promises about? This was a promise for those poor Arab Bedouin who never have a bed a mattress, they never had couches, they never wear silk, they never have golds in their hands. Yet Shabir Ali is telling us that the Quran advise us not to follow desire. And then we continue who take his desire as of God. 
Well, I change the Muslim to show me one thing the Muslims they believe in is not about desire of their own. As an example, what have many women have to do with God? What having many women have to do with God? What Muhammad have to do with God by making verses claiming that his God said to him that whole bunch of women are yours, just go and do boom boom to them. In the top of that, he made verses saying, any believing woman, she can give herself to the prophet so he can if her. Excuse my language. Was Muhammad following his desire or he was following God? Who is the one who made this chapter or those verses? If you say to me that the one who made this is God, what does this have to do with religion? women offering themselves to the prophet why how that will benefit islam how that will lead to god and why it is a privilege and actually shabir ali later he said that there is some people preachers they want wealth. They are, they are called the preachers of wealth. So those preachers, preachers of wealth, they seek wealth for their own. The person, man or woman, should be devoted to God and the only and only seeking pleasure of God. So when Muhammad, he received verses that any woman you want to if go for it, he was seeking pleasure of God, and that was make Allah happy. It's not Muhammad who wanted, but yet the wife of Muhammad, she said, Inni ara rabbuka yusari'u ila hawaka ya Muhammad. I see that your God, he rush into your lost Muhammad. Aisha, the wife of Muhammad, she noticed that her husband is a fraud, he's a scam. And then Shabir Ali continue. That those people who they are devoted to God for the face of God, for the sake of God, or redo on the law, for the pleasure of God, blah, blah, blah. And the Quran says, we recommended perform our religious duties. Did Muhammad reform his religious duties. All of us renew that the Muslims are allowed to have four wives. Was it a religious duty for Muhammad to have 13? And then in the top of that, any believing woman, she offer herself to sleep with him? Is that a religious duty? Is it part of religious duty to have 13 wives for you as a prophet. And you know, the funny thing is, when uh, Shabir Ali, he speak about preachers of wealth, as we will see later, Muslim, they say to us, that Muhammad was very poor. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody who is so poor, and yet he have 13 houses, and yet every house have slaves, servants. I mean, do you see how poor he is? Guys, I am so poor. I have 13 houses. And every house have a wife. And she have servant slaves. And yet the prophet was so poor. And then the Muslim, they would say to you, do you know that before the prophet, he died? He borrowed money from a Jew. He was his neighbor. What Jew, you idiot? Muhammad, he killed all the Jews. Muhammad, before he died, he borrowed from a Jew. 
Isn't it Muhammad who he said, if I become victorious, I will cleanse the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula? So the Muslims, they tried to paint for us an image of Muhammad that he was a poor man. He was a decent man. Look, so sincerity, devotion should be. Sincerity, look at the word sincerity. Muhammad was very sincere to the point his wife she catch him having sex with a slave in her bed. And then Muhammad, he told her not to tell anyone. He promised her that if she shut up her mouth, he will make her father the caliphate after him. And then he made a verse in the Quran, which I find it hilarious. This is one of my favorite, by the way. <laughs> Look how beautiful, I mean, nobody can make Quran like this. Let us, let us be honest. And remember when the prophet S.A.W. disclosed a matter of confidence to one of his wives, uh -huh. between two bracket Hafsa. So when she told it to other wife, i.e. Aisha, and Allah made it known to him. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Who's talking now? You know, if you hear this like from a from a grandmother, she is like 110 years old and she is telling her friends, the neighbor about what happened, I will understand. But this is God reporting for us a matter of top security. It is top security. All right, we have a Muslim trying to call. I hope it's a real Muslim, not Fakira. Let us see. <laughs> so remember, what remember? I mean, the, the, the thing just happened. What remember, Muslims? How in the world does it remember? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. You are a Muslim? Oh, yes. Inshallah, I am Muslim. All right, that's wonderful. What, why, why, you, why, why you call us, my friend? What do you want to say to us? What do you want to share with us? Do you see the topic? I just, I just want to come on here to uh, combat some ignorance because I feel like you take things and you misreport them and you uh, misunderstand things and you just like make make dumb claims. Okay, like, like what? Give me, give, give me an example. Give me an example. No, no, you give me an example. Give me one. Well, in, in front of us, we have a, we have a verse in the Quran which Allah supposedly is talking in chapter 66, verse number 3. Can you help okay, us with that? Yeah, hold on. Chapter 66, verse 3? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, okay. Even though it was, like, very inappropriate of you to make fun of Zach and Naik, that was very, like, spot on and funny. I won't lie. <laughs> I do not understand what? Well, uh, you making fun of Zach and Naik, even though that was rude, and like probably, you know, that's why, bad. Why, why, it's, it why, funny. why it's rude, why it's rude? <laughs> well, just making fun of people in general is I make, rude. so what? I make fun of myself. Like, I make fun of, like, I, I make fun of, like, make fun uh, everybody of. knows I make fun of myself, too. You can ask them. No, yeah, I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. It's pretty funny. Yeah. All right, well, let's see. 66.3, right, Surah Tahrim? All right. Okay. All right, what do you want to say? Tell me, what is that? I mean, this is, who is talking there in this Remember verse? It once compared something to one of his wives with a certain Nabi Yula Babi as Waji Hadid Panamanabat B. What her law Ali Harof Babah who are on Bab for the Manabahi, what my Mecca have a corner by Nil Ali Mohabir. I'm glad you speak Arabic, wonderful. Yes. All right. So, what 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 is sorry here? Tell us what's happened. Okay. So, Surah Tahrim is about. Uh, the, uh, his wives, one of his wives, hmm. betrayed the Prophet's trust. He told her something in, in secret, and she told us someone else. So Allah nazzal surah tahrim, hmm. so he could tell uh, the Prophet that he's allowed to like do tahrim, which is basically shunning his wife. And like this is like, and then this is like this surah also tells us like how we're supposed to treat our wives when they're disobedient, right? All right. 
So, so you, don't you make but just to be sure, you said that one of his wives she betrayed the prophet. Which one? Let's see. Which one? Which one is the one betrayed the prophet, as you say? Well, it doesn't really say it. I, I guess I have to. Yeah, but you are, the, but you are sure that the one of the wives she betrayed the prophet. I have three. You know, look up the jurisprudence. You know, not a tafsir, the exegesis, because it's not very hmm. accurate. Remember when the prophet confided in the prophet? Uh, is there a hadith about this? Well. Okay, so it says, and remember what the Prophet ﷺ, so he said it, well, it says, allegedly, yeah, right? I'm not sure if this is sahih or not, but he said it to Haf he said something to Hafsa in confidence, right. and she told it to another, it doesn't tell us who, it says, example, Aisha. Okay. I think it's just an example, so we don't know right. who, but okay. it's not relevant. But anyway, it. you said that one of his wives, she betray the Prophet, that's wonderful. Well, but, I mean, but, 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 but how, but how the Quran says, that bad women marry bad men and good men marry good women and you just say man, to me did you just say man did you just like this is what i mean like are you saying that it's that because she made a singular mistake that allah sent something about and divulged the whole surah for that 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 means like boo wow they're bad bad woman and bad man like bro that's I, a mistake my, my friend I, you are the one who used the word betray not me Right, right, right. But that doesn't matter. It's one uh, mistake. So like do do we need is, do we, we need do I need to to make many betrayal to become a betrayed person? How many betray? How many times okay, need to betray? Right. So I used the wrong. I used the wrong word. Right. That was my best. Stuff for Allah. So uh, I didn't mean to say betray. Uh, I just. Uh, but was she was she a good a was okay very was English she either. was she a good woman when she did what she did or was she a good a bad woman? She was still a good woman who made a mistake and uh -huh. got corrected on it later. But what do you mean? Okay, hold me on. This. Okay, let me ask you. Did did okay. I, did Aisha and Hafsa? Yeah. Uh, almost left Islam. No. What? Are you sure? Ah, uh, but if you continue to collaborate against them, then know that Allah is you know, always supporters as well. As you divorce you all, as long as you replace your better wife, submissive to Allah, faithful to end your friend, and create the name of it. I will leave this to protect your son. I mean, if they're continue, if they continued, that's what Allah says. Is like He's just like emphasizing their respect. Hmm. Says He says, uh, hmm. All his, there are all what, his supporters. What what mean? As long as you speak Arabic, which is wonderful. are like inclined. What does that mean? They became. Uh, they, they are close. Hearts, they are close hearts. to the point of become a, become kuffar. Correct. Yeah, right. Okay, so she be, they they are close to become kuffar. So are they good or bad? Right, because they made a mistake. Okay, so they, are they? And are they? The end, they are they? Too, are they, they repented and right. they changed? No problem. Right? You you right. you you ask people to. Is that allowed? Wait, hold on, hold on. My, my, question, my, question. my friend, my friend, this is not the question now. Listen, focus with me. Okay. It's, it's, you know, you can say. Uh, uh, you can ask me, are you a sinner? I say yes. I commit sin. Uh, you know, maybe yes. maybe a thousand of time, and I, yes, I, I, we, we, well. we repent, right? Yeah. So, but of this course. is not. But this is not the question here. The question is, when this happened, those two women okay. who they they are hard and they climbed and they are become close to become kuffar. And, okay. and now we see Allah Himself is involved to send a message about what they are doing. It must be something big. You see, you do bad things, I do bad things, but do Allah send Quran because of you and because of me? Hold on. What? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening for a second. Could you repeat it again? Sorry. This verse here came specifically about those two yes. women, correct? The, the what? Two women? Yes, two. Yes, okay. two women. Do Allah yeah. send Quran to everybody do something wrong or only for something very right, right. important? So, okay, that's a good point. Allah, the, the Quran is the guide for our future actions and the Hadith is the guide for our future actions. And other than that, we have fatwa. So obviously, Allah sent messengers to every nation before. The Prophet is the Khatam. You were talking about this earlier. Khatam means final. This is the question. You are, you, are, you, are talking about things, you are talking about things in, from the past. I'm asking you now. No, no, no I know. When, when, the, when the two women, they do what they did, 
and Allah yes. he sent this verse is that for a serious matter or something silly it's a serious matter how serious how about, serious it is right, how serious because in Islam how okay, serious it is yes can I explain okay. uh, in Islam it's embedded that women are obedient to their uh, husbands right mm. Okay. Obviously, in a way that's not harmful to them, or in a way that's not haram, but they're obedient, right? Allah so you are obedient. saying that those wives that are dis sense, dis right? disobeying. Would you want your wife? To they are disobeying to? the prophet. Sorry. They are disobeying the prophet. Yeah, that's right. why Allah is. Is disobedience? Is disobedience in Islam considered a big sin, or it is? It's okay to to, to be especially to no especially reason. yeah, just like if you're just on a whim, like for no reason at all, like you're just yeah, of course. Okay. It's a sin. And Would you want your wife to be but now we too? are this you tell her a secret and she goes tells it to someone else my that, friend like, but now we are disobeying now we are this like, i don't like how you cut off my points can you i'm not i'm not finish? we are having a conversation my friend i'm okay, not cutting I you so i want to relate it to did us, i did right? i did i mute you did you say anything we're talking i don't know I'm, okay but you're like so cutting off it's all right no i'm not cutting you off this is how i talk you know i like i like a coffee conversation you know so okay when uh uh, when the wives they did what they did and you agreed that this is must be serious and Allah right. he write in his office all the way in seven galaxies he sent the verse <laughs> threatening the wives they have to repent otherwise what he will do otherwise they get otherwise the angel writes for them a sin until they repent that's it There's no no no, no, no. read read, read me back. read carefully no no you are not reading read with me carefully verse number four okay hmm. وإن وإن الله وإن عليه فإن الله ومولاه بعد ذلك ظهير. Right. Hmm. So we, your heart faltered. Uh, what, what is it? إن تظاهر عليه فإن الله ومولاه is like. Sorry, I'm not that good at English. Uh, so he's basically saying that Allah and the angels are uh, his supporters as well. So you are saying to me. That now the wives. So he's saying that like he um, he's basically saying that Rasulullah is in the right. But, and oh oh you're talking about like the next ayah as well. Asa Rabbuhu in talaqa kunna yubdilahu. Yeah, because he's saying if you are you continue to be disobedient and you okay, continue to not. Okay, like, my friend, focus with me. Right. I you am. said you said that the wife she been taught a secret by the Prophet, correct? And he told okay. her not to tell anyone, correct? Yes. Okay. We went over this. Yeah. Now this they disobey the Prophet and they make a problem because of that, correct? Mm -hmm. All right why we need look who is in the side of the prophet now in against those two women allah plus jibreel plus every muslim in the world plus all the angels all of this to go against two women they are five foot tall because they told the secret so if allah is with muhammad wait wait, wait, wait. hold on Wait, not go against these two women as in war. You're, I'm, you're making it like some Black Panther movie where it's like against Wakanda or something, man. It is yeah, a Black Panther. It is. It is. Like... It is. Hey, listen, listen, <laughs> my friend. Actually, you are the, the one. You... you are the one who chose the perfect word. Listen, uh, uh, read it. Read it. The women, all according to you, all what the women they did, they 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 uncover a secret. All right. So now it means they are so, not on his and side. If they, they are, are siding together, if they continue they siding sinned, together, yes. listen, if they are continue siding together, who is going to be against those two women? Can you count for me, please? Go ahead. Sorry, what? Who is going to protect Muhammad if they if those two women they are joining together against him? Who is going to protect Muhammad? If they fought against him? Yeah, who is going to protect Muhammad? I don't know. I'm not gonna make something up. What do you mean? It's in front of you. It says Allah. This is, uh, but this is not talking literally. See, that's what you do. Like you take. What do you mean not literally? Like, okay, tell me not literally, guys. It's not literally. So what it is? It's, it's, are you saying to me Allah is lying now? He don't are mean Are all it? his supporters? Are all his supporters? It's not saying that they're gonna. A supporter or what? Them. Okay, let's hold on. Hold on. The word Mawla, Mawla. It's yes, mean. It's Mawla. mean. Uh, 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 Mawla, prot yeah. Protector. The one who. Yes, oh, Allah okay. Him. Yes. Okay. So Allah. So Allah could send a miracle. How Allah? Allah send a okay. Miracle, okay. Like listen. Walk listen. At that moment to protect them or something. Allah. Like, Allah. He decided to protect Muhammad from Aisha and Hafsa. Yes. He will protect him from what exactly? What they would do? What? What? You just agreed. 
You just agreed There's nothing to protect that from. Allah will protect him. It's just saying he's his protector. It's not saying in this exact like, No, moment, it's count how many. Do and already you agreed. Already you agreed. Secrets. Already ag agreed. Allah, he says, if you, he made a condition. If you join together against him, then you should know that Allah is the protector. He will protect him from what? Yeah, I know. And can we look at what the next ayah says, please? Can we? Can I talk? Sure, I'm, I'm waiting for the answer. Give okay. me the answer. I don't care what you look so, like. So, Allah and the angels, hmm. Allah, Allah himself is his guardian, Gabriel, the righteous believers, and his and the angels are all his supporters as well. Sah? Hmm. So Allah is saying like he uh, Allah is his protector and his guardian and he understands like he is allowed to divorce you hmm. like what is my answer yeah that's your answer no because are, if, the be if the solution if the solution Allah already no, my friend listen carefully if the solution uh, uh, that he will divorce you, Muhammad, he can divorce them without even all this story. He, he divorce. He is the prophet. He is the husband. In Islam, the man no, he can divorce. Listen, no, listen carefully. Divorce. Listen carefully. There are rules and for now, divorce. Look, look, so, the rules. so now you are That's saying to me, point. there is no rules in Islam. You can divorce your wife anytime you want. No, 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 no. no. Don't make, don't make. Don't I make challenge you. I challenge you in the front of everybody to prove me wrong and get me busted. Show me that there is a rule. Okay, let me let me check my book. Okay, mm. I have a book. I don't just which like book, look you online, which you book know? you are reading. I have Sahih al Bukhari right here. All right. Translation. Okay, that's wonderful. So, you believe in Sahih al Bukhari? Yes, I do believe in Sahih al Bukhari. Sahih al Bukhari is, yeah, Sahih. So, there, so you're telling me, so what you're telling me is there's no rules in Islam, right? My friend, nobody can ask a man for what he do with his wife. He can divorce her. He can beat her. He can do as he wish. No, no, no. That, what? That's not how that works. Well, prove me wrong. Same time, you are avoiding my question. But anyway, I give you 10 years to find me the reference you are saying about there's rules. Ten you can years, divorce. I, ten years. You can like di I will give you 10,000 years. Two minutes, because I have a lot of notes here. I just All need right. to find it. Yeah, look for your notes. That's wonderful. <clears throat> Do you want to call a sheikh or a friend? I don't know any sheikhs, unfortunately. Oh. Which is why I'm like, I'm not going on here to, as a scholar or anything. I just want to put that out there. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not a scholar. Oh. I'm not a genius. I'm just a student. You are, you are not a genius. Pastor. You are a genie. <laughs> what does that mean, man? That's mean you are jumping from place to place now. You see, I'm waiting for you. And, I was a genie. Okay, I, I will save you. I will say You will never find any reference oh. as you claim. Secondly, listen. Okay. Uh, as long we are saying yeah, here, as, as, as long we are here saying that the solution, if you keep together, he can divorce you, no problem. So what is the point of him saying Allah is a protector and Jibreel and all the believers and furthermore the angels? What they would do exactly? All of this to I help him. Um, all of those to help I'm him. I'm not a all of. But I don't care. I don't care. You are a Muslim. You are the one who called okay, me. Well, Muslim, you claim, you, you claim, you claim, Islam. my friend, my Doesn't friend, you call me and right you. away you accuse me that I make things, I, I, I fabricate things, I what, lie about what things. What okay. accusation? What okay. accusation? So I'm asking you, yeah. Allah and he, he's, he's a protector and you agreed. And now Jibreel, he joined. Okay, now, wonderful. And now every single believer, including you, that's wonderful. The number is getting bigger. And furthermore, all the angels, I'm asking you what they would do. I don't know. I don't like. I do can't. you don't know? I mean, this is. I don't know the. I mean, of this I mean, this is a statement. I can come back this is a statement. Like a this is a statement can I, be can I can, can be acceptable. I, I will if Putin, if listen, if Putin he threat Muhammad, he will use nuclear weapon, and then Muhammad <laughs> he receive a message from his God saying to Putin, Allah his protector, Jibril, all the believers, and furthermore all the angels. I will let that go. We are talking about two women, and they are wives of Muhammad, not even the enemy wives. The wives of Muhammad, they are short women and they have little nails. And one of them, she is a kid. Her name is Aisha. So why he need all this group to protect him? Is there something, somebody left? 
like I said, I don't know. I, I don't want to like well, divulge any an more answer on that. of I, I don't know. The answer of I do not know is a proof that this is um, it's this a is, proof that I don't know. No, this is a proof that this is a shameful thing. You cannot explain it. What? I just know. I just don't understand. The you are the one who said you have tons of notes. Suddenly your notes disappear. My notes in hadith, not in my notes in this surah. So, you brought out a random ayah. I've, I, okay. oh, I mean, uh, I know let, this let ayah. Us, let let, let me make it simple for you. When you when, when you mentioned this, you said to me right. one of his wife betray him. The Quran yes. says, al khabithatu al khabithatu lil khabithin. What does that mean? Al khabithatu lil khabithin. Yeah. What ayah? Chapter 24, verse number 26. Chapter 24, verse 26. Chabatha zul khabit, you know, when you call this acid. Surah Nur, right? Mm -hmm. What verse? My friend, 24, 26. 26, got it. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. wicked women are for wicked men. Okay, you speak Arabic, women. we do not need the English. Translate for right. us. Al Khabithat or Al Khabithin. Al Khabithun Al Khabithat. Arabic is different from Arab, like Arabic, you know. Yeah. So, what, what, what you say? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not like Quranic Arabic is like Fusha. I'm like you. Uh, uh, when you call me, you were reading like, like, uh, like in the speed of a horse, my friend. Now you do not know how to read. Oh, that's because I'm Hafid. Oh, so you do not know Arabic. No, uh, no, I know, no, I know Arabic. I know dialect Arabic, but I've memorized the Quran. Okay, so the, the, I don't can, like. Can I you, can't can like, you, tell you the translation you, of the. Okay, meaning. can you read this one, or you cannot? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, translate okay, for us. What, what it says? You know, well, yeah. Translate. A wicked men. Are, you want me to read it in Arabic or you just English? No, translate for us. Give us the meaning. Wicked men are for wicked. Um, uh, wicked women are for wicked. Wicked men. Sorry. Wicked men are for wicked women, virtuous women are for virtuous men, and virtuous men are for virtuous women. Wonderful. Virtuous are innocent of what the wicked say, they will have forgiveness and honorable provision. Wonderful. What does that mean? Wicked men marry wicked uh, 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 women, and wicked women marry wicked men. Stop here. What does that mean? What do you mean? What does it mean? Does I it mean, what is, uh, uh, it's amazing. I say to you, what, you, what does that mean? You say to me, what do you mean? It says wicked oh. women. This is your translation, and thank you for giving more accurate translation from what we see. Oh, this okay. So you're asking what the verse means. Okay, it starts yeah. from verse 23, by the way. I, I, why do you take ayahs just randomly from in the middle of the surah? So it starts here. No, Surely because those who we are cast... we are connecting to what happened to Aisha here. Wicked women, they marry wicked men. Wicked men, they marry wait, wicked women. Wait, wait, wait. You can't just connect those things randomly. Why not? Talk about the hereafter. Why not? Why we cannot connect? After. Is it, this is for every... Is, is, it Muhammad, is it Muhammad a man and Aisha is a woman? No, no, hold on. The verse you're quoting, right? Oh. Ayah 26, right? This verse is for the hereafter, not this world. It starts from 23. What hereafter? Ayah 23. What hereafter? It talks about the Day of Judgment. Where is, there, where, where is the Day of Judgment? Where, 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 where it says what the Day of Judgment? From 23, look. Surely those who accuse okay. chaste, unsuspecting, believing women are cursed okay. in this life and the hereafter. Okay. And they will suffer a tremendous punishment okay. on the but Day But you just answer yourself. You just say yeah. they are cursed in this life and the hereafter. Yes, but this verse okay. is talking about the hereafter. So in the hereafter, men, they are going to marry women. They are bad women. No, the virtuous part. Right? <laughs> so, so this we're is for today. This is for now. This is for the people who live in this earth, not for he after. So bad women. You're talking about the virtuous bad part women. The they marry bad men. Bad men. They marry bad women. And you just agree that Aisha and Hafsa, they were almost going apostate and became kuffar. And Allah Himself asked them to repent, and He is waging army against them, including Jibril and all the believers and all the angels to protect Muhammad. But the Quran says that bad men they marry bad women. So if Aisha and Hafsa are bad women, well, Muhammad must be a bad man. What? What? In the, wait, you're talking about like, okay. I'll understand, I'll agree that I, in this sense of terms, like you are just, you're making connections that, uh, that make sense that I'm unable to refute because I do not have the knowledge of this, these ayahs completely and 
Secondly, you're connecting two separate ayahs. Doesn't matter. Right? The Quran, this, one is about, the Quran is, this is the, the Nur is talking about the my story friend, of my friend, no, my, my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You are the one who said Surat, to me. You are the one who said Surat to me. Read the verse before it. talking about the story it. of the Prophet Nuh and the Prophet Lut, right? Exactly. They were good men, but their wives were not. Right? Exactly. Same with Fir'aun. His, his wife was good, a believing woman. Hmm. Or okay, but that, righteous woman. But this is a clear. Fir'aun was a bad. But this person, will make a clear contradiction for the Quran because if Lut is a prophet for you. And even yes. uh, uh, and the wife of the Pharaoh was a good woman, and uh, uh, even the wife of uh, 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 Noah was a bad woman, etc. So uh, then the Quran is wrong because bad women they don't marry good ma bad men necessarily. Bad women they can be marrying a, a good men, and bad men not necessarily marry bad women. They can marry good women. You know we know mm -hmm. uh, you know and everybody knows that in this life there's millions and millions of women. Who they are living with horrible men. Do we agree? Right. Okay. And there is the opposite too. There is wonderful men. They are living with horrible women. Correct. Yes. All right. right. So the that verse. Is so this verse is, so, is, a, is a verse is absolutely false. No, because you're saying oh, that means okay. That would mean you take anything from the Bible and it would be true automatically, right? My friend, Every, everything, my friend, did your prophet, did, did the Quran say is about special case or he said bad women? Yes, there are special cases no, and there is no, context no. everything. He yes, said about yes, men and women. He said, al that you speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. al speak Arabic well. yes. So all it doesn't matter. the bad women. It has context. My friend, no. The context is there, read it, no problem. Who's holding you? Bad women, they marry bad men. This is not about specific women, all bad women. They marry bad men and not your, your God even repeated twice and repeated again saying, and bad men marry bad women, which is very funny to repeat. I mean, it doesn't make any difference now because if, if bad women, they marry bad men, why do you need to repeat and say bad men will marry bad women? I mean, this is very silly and it doesn't make sense. Trials. I mean, like uh, what? To, yeah, yeah, I, this is an application to life. Allah is no, no, no. You see, if I say dirty, if I say dirty man marry dirty women, didn't I already say both of them are dirty? You so what? what? If I say if I say dirty man marry dirty women, so do I need to say and dirty women marry dirty man? Already I said both are dirty because I just said dirty man marry dirty women. So I do I need to mm -hmm. repeat? Again and say and dirty women marry dirty men. This is somebody you have nothing to say. You know, this is a grandma. She okay. is she is she is in the park speaking to her friend. So here you see the language in Arabic is very very weak, very stupid. Same time the meaning is very stupid. In this in the top of that, this is a contradiction for everything. As you said, there's a prophets in Islam. Their wives they betray them. Even the word in the Quran says, "Khanatuhuma," right? Khanat, khanat me betray. Do I agree? Yeah. So it says it clearly betrayed. So, but the Quran confirmed that only bad women marry bad men, and only bad men marry bad women, and only good men marry good women, and only good women marry good men. So this Quran proved to us that Muhammad, if the Quran is a true coming from God, and Allah never wrong, then Aisha is bad, Muhammad is bad, Hafsa is bad, Muhammad is bad. Well, that's how it works. Like this I is said, how it works. This is and that's not this is your case. this is your Quran saying. But I'm gonna need to uh, go back and study on that one, my friend. Okay, no problem. So you know what? I'm going to give you a break. You know, I will let sure. everything yeah. you said. Bring go. up a new topic, right? Huh? Let's try again. What? Why don't you give me a different one? Huh? I will not give Maybe you a different. Maybe one. I'll get lucky. I, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hit you on your weakness. I wanna see your your strength. Give me something strong to convince me about Islam. Sure. Okay. 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 So first of all, talaq, you can't just say you divorce someone, right? There's like my friend. Reasons. I can show you from your Islamic Saudi Arabia website the fatwa. You can even divorce your wife by text message. Okay, Saudi Arabia and fatwas are not the same as the Sharia. So Saudi Arabia, they don't follow Sharia. They the the sheikhs of the the, the, the muftis of Saudi Arabia, they allow something against Islam, correct? Yes, Saudi Arabia okay. bombs the Yemen every single day. Uh, are you a, are you are you are you, a, are, you a, are you a Shia? No, I'm not a Shia. So what? They, are not so Muslim. what? So what? So what if they bomb Yemen every day? You Muslims kill each other every day. That's not, where. Where? From the time of Muhammad, who killed the Caliphate Uthman? Who killed That's Ali? The Shias. That's Shias are not Muslim. Who killed Ali? 
ذا الشيعه هذا كلت عثمان؟ سنس وين؟ هو كلت علي ذا الشيعه؟ هو كلت ذا جراند سونز اوف 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 محمد؟ يس ذات واز ذيم يا ذا الشيعه تو رايت؟ بني اميه ذا الشيعه هو كلت فاطمه؟ هو كلت هير بيبي؟ هو هو تراي تو بيرن ذا هاوس اوف فاطمه؟ هو صدام حسين؟ هو كلت سو ماي فريند Her friend. Fatima bint Rasulullah. Yeah, who killed her? Isn't it Omar? He came to her house and he tried to burn no. his house and he kicked her and she was no, going to have Shia a child. No, that's Shia Islam that believes that, bro. My friend, this is from your Sunni books. But anyway. Where? Where? Give me an example, please. I, I, I wanna, I wanna go for something important. I say to you. Can you give me an example, or you, do you just like talk and then like? No, I never, speak. I never talk without proof. Okay, so can I get the example, please? Okay, what do you mean example? Can you give me an example from a Sunni book where it says, like, give me a hadith or, or someone who narrated that, right? Okay. That's not Shi'i, right? Sunni, right? Is that so, Sunni? So if I show you... That Fatima what? died by Umar. All right. By so, a raid by Umar. Okay. Tell me. If, if I... If because I, she died my, the my, my of friend, Muhammad, my, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is that. All right, my friend. So if I show yeah. you now, do you, like, you will not say I don't agree with this? Well, it has to be Sunni, and I have to confirm it, of course. If it is a Sunni, I can just show you anything in the Bible. I can show you something one look okay. down in the Bible. If it if Jesus it if it is, is a, if it is a Sunni, so you are a person who believe only what the Sunni says, correct? I believe what is Sahih, right? All right. You believe only in what 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 was that? Shias are not Muslim. I was reiterating. I will say it again. Shias are not Muslim. The the core belief of Islam, oh, 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 right? Okay. You know what Shahada is? Yeah, I'm asking you. What's so, shahada? So you believe? I'm asking you. Hold on, hold on. You must. What's shahada? There's no shahada. Islam shah, shahada is a fabrication in the hadith. There's no shahada in the Quran. Shahada is Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. Can we find that in the Quran? Can we find? Can we find that? Can we find that in the Quran? Shias reject that notion. Can we find that in the Quran? What? The shahada. You searching Google now? <laughs> so you see you are talking about the Shia that they are not Muslim you are not a Muslim because you associate Allah with Muhammad you associate Allah with Muhammad and there is no Shahada in the Quran saying not, no I don't pray to Muhammad I respect and follow him that's what that's what the hadith is well, Allah tells us to obey uh, the Prophet Muhammad yes he does in the Quran all right. Allah, okay, but you just said you just said you accept only certain hadith. Yeah, hadith that are sahih because that would mean it came from the Rasul. If right. it's if it's da'if, I don't know if it came from the Rasul. That's fabrications of Israel. That's fabrications of Shia. That's fabrications of jahalat. Yani, like I don't need to believe that. Uh, okay. So you So so who is the one who decide what is to accept? There is a very scientific method where it leads from what this guy narrated from this guy, from narrated from this guy, that narrated all the to the way to the Rasul. It's very scientific. Like you need to, it's technical. It's, I'm not a scholar. All right, we will go. To Uthman, we will listen to Uthman ibn Farooq. Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq. Yeah, this guy is an idiot. Why? He said there is many Messiah. Do you agree with him? Many Messiah. Yeah. Where? Where? Yeah. There's the video. Is there online? Can I see it? Can you tell me the video, please? I can. I don't. I, I, you know, I played his video before. He reported me to YouTube for copyright. He's a coward. That doesn't make sense, man. That doesn't make sense. Well, his video is there. Anybody can go and search. How convenient. He is said that? there What's is. The he said there is many Messiah. He is a liar. He claimed that he have a master degree in Hadith, and then he he, he, he brought in the video a, 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 a note note not not the Hadith claiming because those people don't speak Arabic claiming that this is a Hadith saying that there is many Messiah. And the word even saying Messiah, Messiah, not even word Messiah. He is a fraud, my friend. Why even you mention him? You know, shame. That's a shame. I mean, this guy. Can the, you show me that video? Or I my, can't my friend, that my otherwise. friend, just search it right now. I won't now. believe it because just slandering. Right? My friend, my friend, you can share, search it right now on YouTube. Why are you not talking to me? I will not complain. Okay, play. can you tell me what it is? I'm searching it right now while I'm still talking to you. Go ahead. Uh, uh, guys, in the, in the chat, what is the name of the video of uh, Uthman and the Messiah? There's many Messiah. Somebody tell me, please search it, and we, you know, we will, you will see it in the chat. Yeah. So this guy is a fraud, and not only that, uh, he add words to the Quran. He take off words. 
uh, big, big fraud. I mean, I die laughing at him. You know, once he was speaking to a Christian woman saying, in your Bible it says that slaves are property. But isn't it your Quran says slaves are property? <laughs> yeah, that was, again, context. That was back then because... What back then? No, no, no. He was saying to Christian women, say, he was saying to Christian women, do you accept that a slave is a property? Do you accept your Bible saying? Yeah, you accept that, that it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's yeah, like, okay, okay, him, no problem. Do you accept? Him to death, but he is he saying to Christian women, day. he is saying to Christian women, do you okay. accept that in your Bible, the human being is a slave, is a property? By the way, you never let me talk. But, like, you but keep bringing no, up new points, no, no, you, you are talking, so you are like, talking. But isn't yeah. it in your Quran says, which means your property, what you own by your hand? Yes. Okay. And, and so, so don't can, don't can you don't you notice the ayah first? how I say how I say to you how I say to you do you accept that when I have it in my book? That's me. He okay. don't accept it. Do you know what the context is? That's me. He don't accept it. Yeah, the, you can watch the video. 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 Okay. Okay. Here we go. Uh, but th that what? doesn't talk. Wait, Guys, hold on, what, hold on, what hold on, the, uh, on, here, here we go. Somebody posted the video actually. He posted the link for you in the chat. The admin posted the video Sheikh for Sheikh Uthman saying there's many Messiah. You know, you can click on it, but don't play it because I cannot play the sound here. This guy is a, is a coward. He will report, you know, even though I can play his videos against him. Okay, maybe you didn't listen to it real quick. Yeah, okay, you know what? I, I will give you a minute, watch it, you know, and call me back. All right. Sure, sure, yeah. Sure. All right. <laughs> this guy is not a Muslim. Uthman is not a Muslim. No Muslim will say there's many Messiah. No Muslim will say that. I, I find it very funny even that he is quoting the name of such a person. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, give him a little bit of time to to watch it. <clears throat> there's many messiah and then he went and he, he brought an islamic book and then he read the 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 the, the, the note the note in the book <laughs> and he read the word is have nothing to do with the word messiah <laughs> claiming that he knew arabic <laughs> The ketchup boy. <laughs> Actually, when he called me back, I have an offer for him. If he if he can call him to join us, that will be hilarious. What do you think, guys? He will never dare for sure. This guy is a potato. Shake off man. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Let us see.
If there is any Muslim would like to join us too, feel free, you know. He can help your friend. He is just watching a video now and he will be back. You know, the second you show them anything, I mean, at least this guy, he is like, he said, well, I do not know what to say, you know. He agreed that this is really, you know, when a Muslim he says, I don't know what to say, he is saying this is stupid, really, I don't know how to answer it. That's all. Otherwise, the Muslim, they will be all over you. They will be all over you. We are waiting for our friend to be ready. Uh, oh, he's saying it's two hour video. Anyway, my friend, you can watch it later. I can't find yeah, it. Yeah. Well. No, my, my friend, listen, it's, this is not important. Really, you, later you can watch it and you can call me anytime. I'm always go. I go live from here. But this guy is a fraud, obviously, and uh, you know he is. He is he, he, I, mean, he, I don't know about that. There, but, uh, there is a video. There is a video made by Muslims. You Muslims, you know, the question how in the world he's adding words to the Quran. He's adding words to the Quran, taking off words, and even reading words is not even there. So this okay, guy is. Video? This guy is a fraud. Now let us go back to our topic. I said to you. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm, I'm going to give you a chance to prove to me that Islam is from God. Okay. Okay. How you can do it? Go ahead. Do you not know about like? Hold on. Let me let me find it. Can I have the link? Hold on. Hmm. I don't have a link. It's in my favorites. I have to find it. I think it's this, right? But you agree there's only one Messiah, correct? Yeah, of course. Actually, there's two, according to Muslim Islam. There's two. There's the false Where? messiah, the false messiah, and the real messiah. Okay, the false messiah, yeah, yeah the but, antichrist. But he, you watch the video later, you will see he claim that in Islam there's many messiah. Okay, I, again, I, you, I don't know where that is. It's a two-hour video. I don't want to watch. Yeah, it. you will like, no, you will watch it later, short, so you yeah. can see. And this guy is this, there's, he there's is no he is misleading the Muslim, video. my friend. A, a, a misleader is a misleader. Doesn't matter if he's a Muslim or a Christian or. You somebody. guys have watched the video, right? Someone told me like, what minute should I skip to? Well, maybe later in the chat, maybe they can tell you. Uh, here we go. Somebody post short video, but let us finish our. You know, you can click on it, just open it, so later you can watch it. Uh, <laughs> Tai B, she posted for you a short video from DCCI channel. Uh, this is a short video and you can see it. Big fat liar. No, no dignity. I mean, all okay. Muslims, they knew, even kids, they knew that in Islam there is only one Messiah. This is why you will not find one Muslim. He called himself Messiah. Correct? Okay, but did he say it and then double down on it? Or did he say it like no one pointed it out? It's a mistake. Like... No, no, no. He not even apologized. The coward, he insists and he fight for it. And he go and he bring a Muslim book. And then he want to show them in Arabic. It says there is many Messiah. But you speak Arabic, I'll, you will see it. it, it I'll have to see that. So let's go to something else until I can verify that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now give me a proof that Islam is from God. Okay. What about the... Let's see. Hold on.
That's too much waiting for you, my friend. Is it hard to find something? I have a lot of bookmarks, so yeah. I'm not very organized. So. Let's see. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, so there's scientific proof, right? There's mathematical proofs. There's linguistic proofs. Give like me, give me, give me the one you like. I don't know. Give me the best okay. you have. The best. Okay, like what about location of the seminal fluid prior to being discharged, right? The what? What is that? The what? Location of the seminal fluid prior to being discharged. What does seminal fluid mean? Seminal fluid, which is you from ejaculation. Okay, it's coming from where? Yes, it is it was created a gushing fluid emerging from between the backbones and ribs? A losses in Surah eighty six, right. verse sixty seven. All right. And this was this. What uh, is the this what is the location? What is the location? Explain to me. Go ahead. Thank you for choosing this verse. This is an amazing verse. Chapter 86, verse okay. number 7. You pulling it up? Yeah, I'm waiting for you. What, what, yeah. what, what is the location? I don't see location. It says issued from between the, the backbone. Solib is a backbone, correct? Not lions, as Muslims translate. Yep. The backbone and the ribs. Okay, what is the, what is the location we are talking about? Um, the semen production doesn't take place in the back of the kidneys. What? It says, what, my uh, friend, it says the backbone. What kidney? Yeah. What, what do you mean from the see, kidney? Let me see what you're talking about. Let me see that. Because like, hmm. uh, I don't know. I, I haven't studied it, so I'm trying to look at an explanation. My friend, what do you mean? Okay, there's, uh, you said you did not study the explanation. Shall we go and read the interpretation? Sure, go ahead and read it. What interpretation you like? Ibn Kathir, Jalalain, Tabari, which one? Go ahead, read it. It Ibn doesn't matter. Ibn Ibn Kathir, Kathir, let's go. To, okay, Ibn Kathir, I guess this is your choice. No problem. Chapter 86, verse number 7. Okay, not semen. Hold on. Wrong use word. Khuliqa min ma'in dafiq. Dafiq, not dafiq. All right, dafiq, sorry. All right. So this is Ibn Kathir. This is, this is Ibn Kathir as your choice, my friend. I'm just, yeah. I just open what you like. And you can look with me in the screen just to be sure that YouTube is muted. And you will see here Ibn Kathir given the explanation, and I will make you yourself, my friend, you read it for us. Just to mute, please, you two, so you don't have double sound. All right. Okay, so it says, this is Ibn Kathir again. Okay, and then he continues saying, he is a creator from water gushing forth, meaning sexual fluid that come out breast, breasting forth from the man and the women. Thus the child is produced from both of them by the permission of Allah. Do you agree with this? Hold on. I'm trying to find it on YouTube because... Yeah. Say it again. According to Ibn Kathir, and you agree with it, it says, he is created from water gushing forth, meaning sexual fluid that comes out breasting forth from the man and the women. Thus the child is produced from both of them by permission of Allah. Do to Allah says. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. And then he says, proceeding from the backbone and the ribs, between the backbone and the ribs, he said, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. This is the science you are talking about. Women, she have a sperm and it's coming from her ribs. Okay. So... The Quran used the word dafiq, right? That was uh, translated by Sir uh, Zafrullah Khan that it was created from a fluid poured forth. So I'll start from there. It's created from a gushing my friend, fluid. My friend, my friend, my friend. You said to me, let us open it. You said to me, open Ibn Kathir, and now we are reading Ibn Kathir. You can read in Arabic. You don't need to read Ibn Kathir in English. This is your Ibn Kathir, right? Meaning the sexual this is Ibn Kathir, the meaning the, the backbone, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, which is referring to her chest. And you said to me, you have, you are going to give me the best proof, scientific one, ever in the world. Scroll world. down. I can't see it completely on your screen. What, what do you mean you can't see it? You scroll. Meaning uh, backwards. She. Okay.
Okay. Backbone and ribs, right? Mm -hmm. The ribs of the women. So, do women do women have a sperm? It doesn't say woman. What? It says. It says. Meaning, you are the one who said to me, open Ibn Kathir, remember. Meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, which is referring to her chest. Okay. So, is that science or this is stupidity? Women, they have semen and it's coming from their ribs. And actually the word taraib, not only ribs, it is a turquwa, a turquwa. You know turquwa? Yeah. A turquwa is the upper rib in the one almost connected to your neck, like where your neck meet with your ribs. This is a turquwa. So according to your prophet and his God, that sperm, women have a sperm, which is absolutely false. And that sexual no, sperm... No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. My friend, it says sexual fluid coming from where? And the baby okay, will not so be born. Listen, it's, and it's the baby talk about what's present between the backbone and the ribs. Yes, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the yes. woman. Yes. So you know, okay. So first, you have to understand the anatomy and physiology of the spinal cord vertebral column and the autonomic nervous system to like actually go into this. Uh -huh. It's very specific. Okay. This isn't something technical that you can just say, "Oh, sperm." So of woman's are sperm you today. saying, according to science, women she have a sperm? No, it's okay. not. It's not talking but about the it woman. says here. It says here that this look, is look, look. this is gushing forth. It's a gushing forth. It's come out. It come out. It's a liquid come out. Sexual fluid, gushing forth. That's why in Arabic it says ma in dafiq dafiq. Yeah, above the L three vertebra. It's what? below the no, level. My of friend, the it's dafiq. It's come out. Yes. Okay, it come yeah, out where? Out come out where? From the rhythmic, out, uh, out, it come out of the sexual organs, correct? Yeah. Okay, so there is a liquid come from the women, and that liquid, if it did not happen... No, it's not... Where are you okay, getting from the women? Read Let's with me, it. my friend. Read. Let's go. Let's, okay, wait, wait. translation is better. Let's read. He created from water, gushing forth, meaning... The sexual fluid that comes out bursting forth from the man and the okay, woman. So I'm like wondering like what website you're using to explain this is from Ibn the man and this, this, from the woman. Does, doesn't matter what website. You can open any website no, you want. No, this, this, this is not Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Where? This is Ibn Kathir. Here we go. Here it says this it's is not. The website name is the word of Allah. The word of website name is the word of Allah. And this is the Seer Ibn Kathir. And I can show it to you in Arabic. Do you want to show it to you in Arabic? <sighs> Context is not from women. So, can you confirm for me, please, this okay. is a big theory or not? Hold on, I'm misunderstanding this. This is why I'm not married because I'm afraid. I may go to uh, marry a woman, take her to the bedroom, she take off her bra, I find testicles. You never know. If the Quran is true, women they have testicles in their in, in their chest. No wonder they are big. I mean, men testicles are not going to be like that. I mean, women they are really they have a big balls. I never thought about about uh, but but since I know about this, I learned. So I'm not going to get married. This is scaring the hell of me. You know, and then what I would say to my wife, you know, she look, she have a huge balls and I don't have like a quad. She would look at me like, what do you have there? <laughs> what is that? You know, bing bong. You know, what the heck? What happened? And she have big watermelons, balls. Oh, unbelievable. I will never get married. It would be embarrassment. Women, you know, they are really, they are something. They hide that from us. They don't tell us. You see, they claim that they have a breast and they like wear, you know, those things, etc. But they are balls, brother. They are hiding this stuff. They are lying to us so we can fit into the trap. And you go to the bedroom, bingo, too, too late now.
Yeah, okay. So it's not saying men and women for this. I'm just not seeing this at all. What do you mean? It says meaning the backbone. The it says, hold on. It. it says the meaning, the backbone, and gushing forth, gushing forth, it says sexual fluid. Do we agree? It's a sexual fluid coming out. And here we go. You're, even Ibn Kathir is, is copying your prophet, saying, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, the fluid, yellow, and fine in texture. The child will not be born except from both of them. What yellow texture Muhammad is speaking of? This is your prophet. What is the water of the women, which is fine in texture and it's yellow? This is her orgasm, supposedly, according to your prophet. Wait, that's not what it means, though. The ra'ib is the ribs. It's not up to you. You are the one who said to me, let us uh, go to make a theory. A ra'ib is not ribs. The ra'ib is the ribs of the women. You can open. Right. You can. Okay, so it's for women. So the ra'ib is the ribs no. specifically of the women. Okay. Okay. So this is why Ibn Kathir is saying, do you think Ibn Kathir... It has to be looked at like anatomically. Are, are you saying Ibn Kathir don't speak with Arabic? It has to be looked at anatomically. No, he just doesn't understand the anatomic and physiology oh, okay. of it. So, uh, okay. That we understand now. Okay. Do your prophet understand or he don't? The Quran will say it My and friend, we will understand do your prophet it understand, differently. Do your prophet understand or not? The prophet understand what? Do you, your prophet, do you understand the verse in the Quran? I don't know. What do you mean now? Are you saying the Prophet you do not know how to understand the Quran? But you can understand the Quran? What? I I'm ask you, understand do the Prophet the know the meaning of the Quran, the verse you, we are reading? Do he knew yes, or he, he knew don't? the literal meaning of it, yeah. Okay. We know the science and anatomical meaning of it because now we have more knowledge and more well, technology. Well, when Allah, he gave you the Quran, he gave it to a scientist or he gave it to you, to everyone of us. Right. But to understand certain verses... Allah will say it, and he and it will be true. Okay. But we will have to do the knowledge. To, uh, so we will have to when you're a prophet, to when, it. when you're a prophet, when you're a prophet, you speak the women, the Quran speak about gushing forth liquid. Is that the liquid come out from her private part when she have orgasm? No. What is the water, which is gushing forth? It says ma ma, correct? Yes. Okay. Is that water? gushing forth is it coming out of the organs of the body or it stay inside the body it's coming out right hmm. you do not know how old are you it's coming out right yeah it's coming out yeah okay so this is a water coming out of the of the body of the woman will make the baby how that how that work it's coming out of the man no, it says, Ma on Dafiq, and you agreed that this is from the men and the women. And Ibn Kathir. Man and Dafiq doesn't say men and women, though. That's No, it says that Taraib. This is an insinuated my, translation. My, my friend, the Taraib. I'm not reading translation. I can show you Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Who needs translation? I can show you. you know, because we are our program in English, we are speaking English. But you speak Arabic. You can open Ibn Kathir right now and get me busted. Open Ibn Kathir in Arabic in any Islamic website you want. Ibn Kathir wasn't a scientist, though, right? Your prophet was not? Ibn Kathir wasn't. That's. I'm talking about your prophet Kathir's now. I'm asking you. That's a hadith? I'm asking you, do your prophet know the verse meaning or not? Is Most likely, yes. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. Most likely. Even your prophet, he need to be learning from you what the, what the Quran mean? I mean, the Quran says what it, what it means, but we have to look into the anatomical meaning. Like We have to look into it more depth, uh, more okay. in depth. All right. He knows that like it gushes forth, right? right? He knows that. He doesn't need to know like L2 lumbar, L1. Okay. We know that. Okay. We, uh, so my friend, my friend, let, let us make it simple. Do you agree with your prophet explaining the verse? Yes or no? Yes. All right. Whatever your prophet, he, he said, do you agree with it or no? It depends what it is. So you don't agree with your if prophet? Sahih, I agree with it, yes. If it's sahih, If, yes. it, is, if it is sahih, if you agree with it. Something. 
He has never said something sahih that is If false. it is sahih, oh. if it is sahih, you agree with it. Bring me a hadith that's fake. Yeah, go ahead. I'll give you a hadith that's fake. Yeah. Okay, so you are saying the hadith I will give you now is fake. How do you know it's fake without even showing what I'm going to show? I don't know that. I just said bring me, bring me an example of one you think is. Ah, okay, I see. Let us go to this hadith first. Look at my screen. But yeah, Ibn Kathir contains some non-authentic reports, so he's not completely trustworthy. This is uh, this is a this is a da'if hadith from Sunan and Nasa'i saying the Messenger of Allah, if you want I can show it in Arabic. It says the water of the man is thick and white, and the water of the women is thin and yellow, and the one who comes first will resemble the parents. And this is the Muslim translation. It's Sahih. A da'if. It's da'if. You are the one who asked me to show you something da'if. Why would I say, no, I said, show me something Sahih. No, you said you to me, you said to me, show me something da'if. No, no, what I meant is show me something Sahih that you think is wrong. And I will explain oh, okay. to you that it's not. So what if I could not find something Sahih? Now what we would do? Well, that's it. Do so, you so you don't accept this hadith? This is wrong? If it's da'if, it's hard to accept. Okay, so this Da'if hadith is saying that if the man have orgasm first, the, the baby will look like the parents, and the woman, her, her, her water is yellow. Do you agree with it or against it? Okay, this is interpreted as like referring to what the term sex of the fetus, right? This is for about the water, the orgasm. Whoever comes first, read carefully, it says, whichever of them comes first, the water of the man is thick and white. What is that? This is not the water we see inside the man, we see outside. This is what the Quran is saying, gushing forth. So here, the women water is thin, and it's yellow, and the man water is thick and white, and whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. So do you agree with this life hadith or not? Yeah. You agree? It's, I mean, doesn't... I don't know anything about semen. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you agree with it? It's da'if, so I don't know if it's true. Okay. But... Well, you know what? It is sahih. Is it sahih? Yeah. I was playing with you, you know, just to show people how Muslims, they play games. I'm saying, I mean, I said I don't know if it's sahih or da'if. Okay. You said to me, if it, it. you said to me, I told you, I you said to semen. me, if it is sahih, you will accept. You did not put condition. You said, if because it is. Because I don't know about semen. That's why. My friend, did you say, sahih, did you say, right did you say, did you say it's recorded? If I show you something sahih, you will accept. Yeah. Okay. This is sahih in front of you. Okay. Okay. So your prophet is a prophet now? My prophet is a prophet. My yeah. Prophet is always a prophet. The women, the women water yellow, the one you see in the vagina. That is what make the baby look like the mother if she came first. Is that what science teach? The science. And what who comes first have to do with anything with the look? Based on this, I know now. You know, you can, with my respect to your family, I'm not well, trying to Well, science actually doesn't know what creates male and female, so actually, you can never, you can't judge this until we know. My friend, no, actually, this is, about, this is about male and female, by the way. Yes. This is about male it and is. female. According to your prophet, the one who comes first, the baby will be following him or her. So if the woman, she comes first, the baby will be uh, a girl. If the male, he comes first, the baby will be a boy. Oh, it's resemblance to a parent, though. That's not what it is. It's not gender. Sorry. Well, it's about confused. about male. Yeah. Okay. So, do you agree with that? That I women, women, she sees something in her vagina that is yellow water. That is a semen, and this is what make the baby look like her. Is that what science teach? Does science actually know the answer to that? I don't think it does. Oh, really? No, the science knows. The science says. That if uh, uh, if the woman egg, she receive a male. Semen. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's it. There's it's this, and, yeah. and all of all it's, all of this will happen inside, not outside. And doesn't matter who comes first or come after. That's false. 
because who comes first is something have there's uh, most of Muslim no, women, most no, of no. Muslim women they have no orgasm because women they do circumcision for them so they never have orgasm so who uh, that's mean all these children they have do to circumcision for women what yeah you do not know that Muslim they do circumcision for women <laughs> are you playing with me now you speak Arabic you know Arabic but you do not know so so how this is the proof that it's, your prophet how this is the proof you gave me of your choice of your prophet claiming that women she have yellow though. is that no, yellow is that the yellow water we see in the women private part when she have orgasm yes or no the water he is the, the the yellow water he's speaking of yellow water yeah is that a, is that the water we see in her private part i don't know never touched the woman oh, okay <laughs> Well, let us see. Your prophet, he is the expert. He touched many. He touched women more than the black stone. This is your prophet saying, a woman, she came to him. Her name is Umm Salama. Okay. Do you see the, do you see the screen? Okay. Moving and she on. said the message of Allah, God is not ashamed of the truth. Is any washing necessarily? If a woman has when she see as a sexual dream, he replied yes. When she sees sign of a liquid, Umm Salama covered her face. This is this is uh, uh, your prophet wife, and she said, huh, and do the women? This is false translation, by the way. Do the women have orgasm? Do the women have orgasm? Not sexual dream. He replied, of course she does. In what? way does her child resemble her and then he continues saying muslims added in the versions of umm salim the man liquid is a core a coarse and white thick and white and the woman is yellow fine and yellow so according to your prophet the water she see in her vagina remember the woman she can wash it this woman she is going to wash her vagina to clean that yellow water According to your prophet, the white water of the man and the yellow water of the woman, which she can see in her vagina and she can wash it, is what make the baby look like the man or the woman. Because he said previously, whoever of, uh, of them comes first. How that can be a prophet of God? This is absolutely false. What, what was it again? Well, just reiterate what you're trying to make, that point. Don't read the whole thing. My friend, What's your prophet is explaining to you what is the yellow water is. Yellow water is something the women she see when she have orgasm. A woman, she okay. came to your prophet. A woman, she came to your prophet. She told him that she have orgasm. She have discharge. Do she need to wash? He said, yes. The wife of Muhammad, she said, well, do even women have discharge? Because Muhammad never have make his wife have orgasm. So otherwise she why she will ask, why she is wondering, she is married to Muhammad. Then let her perform bath, you know, wash. Um Musalama she said, Does really this happen? Which means women have orgasm? He said, Yes, the water of the man is thick and white, and the water of the women is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, they are going to produce the baby. And this is as you see. It's a water she see if she sees a discharge. So according to your that's prophet, that's true though. Wait, that's wait, that's true. What if the sperm which carries the male chromosome Y meets the egg? What, what a chromosome? The what a chromosome? This would be the male. What a chromosome? If the sp sperm which carries the male chromosome meets the egg first, my friend, will be you, the male. can you read? What a chromosome? It's the water woman. She is going to wash it. Do you wash the chromosome inside the? The, the, the no, we're ta that you're talking about the sperm versus no, no, like no. The, the sperm of the man and this the sperm of the women. Your prophet is claiming that the women she have a sperm. Yeah, if the sperm and, that fertilizes the egg carries the female. Is, no, not that the, not the man. I'm talking about the man. Read carefully. It okay. says who is who is who is talking? A woman, a woman, right? Yes. Okay. What she did? She have orgasm. She see a dream. She masturbated, and then she have this charge. She's asking her I prophet. Mean, that's, hold on, hold on. If she sees a dream, she doesn't have to masturbate. It's a wet dream. Well, I don't know how and work. here it says, "Kama tara al-mar'a fi manamiha." The woman she is, or she have discharge. 
okay, she had discharge, she didn't have discharge after the dream. Discharge how you know? Dream. Maybe she is touching herself in the dream. How she would how she would have orgasm without without doing anything? Regardless, it's not important. Uh, not important. Okay. So you she have, ha you have she have without doing she anything. have called, discharge. That's why it's called a wet dream. She have a discharge. Then let her you perform. Wait, hold on. You don't have to masturbate to have to have an orgasm. I never been a, a woman. I never been a woman. Maybe you've been. So same you know. as a male as well. It you know, the same I, 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 I never. I don't know. I never heard of a man he would have orgasm without doing anything. Anyway, that's a wet dream. That's what a wet dream is. Uh, this is the maybe it uh, maybe your roof is leaking, my friend. So what? then let her let her perform a bath. So what she would do, she would wash it. So this is something she see in her private part. Do I agree? An erotic dream that causes it involuntary. My friend, focus with me. I've the women it. forget no, no. about this now. The women she why? saw a dream. She watched you got, porn. You I don't wrong, care. So why, I don't why care. Why the women she have this charge. Do you agree? Oh no, yeah, sure. I agree. It's in the front of you. Okay, sure. Okay. So she have this charge. The women she's asking, do she uh, if she see, she see. It's something she see. That's mean mm -hmm. it is outside, correct? Yeah, sure. Correct? She see. If she sees that dream, that's what no, she's No, 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 no. If she see that and has a charge. No, that and and so, has a charge. Okay, this charge. What, discharge. what is this? What, what is this charge? This charge is something come out or in. It comes out, but she doesn't have to see it. Okay, so how he? So how she? So 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 how she will wash it? What? It says you and have. Let, she she have to wash it. In the back. She have to wash it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you can wash it if it's inside. You cannot wash it. Okay. Okay. So this Next. charge is outside. It is yellow and thin and fine. So your okay. prophet describes something you can see, and he's expert. He's not a woman, right? So this is what he see. He see women. They have yellow discharge, and then he claimed that the women she have to wash. His wife, she said to him, "Do women even have discharge?" He said, "Yes." Otherwise, how? The he said, continue saying, "The water of the man." Remember carefully, it says the water. The water of the man is thick and white, and the water of the women is thin and yellow. Whichever okay. of them comes first, that will resemble the parents. Yeah, that's true. All right. So, according to your prophet, the yellow water the women she see in her vagina, this is her discharge, is the reason for having a baby. And the baby resembles the mother. Okay. Is that what science say? Yes. Why? How? How? What sense? When? Because it's scientifically proven that the gender of the baby is is decided like from the moment the sperm meets the egg and fertilizes it. So do women do women have a sperm? No, they have discharge. Okay, but uh, okay, when the women discharge, does this she discharge her egg or she discharge the water, which is yellow and thin? She can wash it. Her egg is placed in that's that's what it's present in. Where is, where is the water it's present thin. in, in the vagina? You don't see the, the egg is in the vagina. She can wash that's it. Not, that's that's discharge. We're not talking about orgasm. When you say discharge, what does discharge mean? Hold on. I'm trying to separate this in a way you can understand. Read it in Arabic. Let me help you in Arabic. It right. says, so, fa an zalat, discharge fa an is zalat. different from arousal fluid. Right? Listen, fa an zalat. What ends that mean? Ends that means like she, came down. She dropped. She dropped. She dropped what? A liquid. No, for ends that means came down. Yeah, came down where? In her okay. vagina. Came down. Yeah, it doesn't have to come out. It's come down. My friend, it says discharge. It says yeah, here, discharge. whoever of them discharge comes first, the comes yeah. first, comes first. It's discharge from the ovula, yeah. Okay, hold on. Comes first. What comes first mean? Comes. Yeah. What comes first mean? What yeah? What goes first? What is that? What what, that what comes? What comes first? mean? Comes mean orgasm, correct? No, that's no. comes does not mean orgasm. Whichever of them fertilizes it first. Fertilizer first. So the fertilize woman she it, yes. so the woman she fertilizes herself first. That's no. Whichever fertilizes the the chrome the it's called. The thing it's called, can't think of the word. 
if the sperm fertilizes the egg that carries the female chromosome, then the fetus will be female. What female chromosome? My friend, hold on. You see? Okay. Ac according to science, if the woman comes first, the chromosome of the women will take over. Oh, what? This is what you are saying to me. In the front the of you, it says, whichever of them the comes egg, first, the whichever of them comes first, the baby will resemble the parents. Comes. The first one who come first. First come, first serve. Your prophet teaching us. Yeah, whichever chromosome. Whichever chromosome. What the chromosome? Like my friend. That's it's, what's fertilizing. Okay, is That's the chromosome, is the chromosome in the water which the women she see, which is yellow and thin. Yes. It is. Yeah. Really? It's not, in, it is. It's not in the egg, huh? Alaqa. Allah creates in the cloth. Alaqa? <laughs> he, what what alaqa? This is alaqa. He, uh, hold is. on, alaqa later, my friend. Alaqa, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. W were you not a nutfa of semen emitted forth? Okay, hold on, hold on. Then you, you became see, alaqa. You just you even you just even you, you even just dig more for your prophet grave. Look what you said. Alaqa. What alaqa mean? Alaqa. Yeah, alaqa. Clot. What alaqa? Clot. It's a dead blood clot. How did the blood? became a baby you see you are the one who mentioned it so you are now you put your you are you are digging more for your prophet how in the world that the semen the sperm I mean, will not become really because will he's be right i'm wrong i mean i'm not very eloquent i'm not a scholar i'm not smart yeah I suddenly just, suddenly you sources. suddenly you are nobody and you have no idea Oh, yeah, I never said I was anybody. A second ago, you I were you were lecturing me about the chromosome. Let us focus okay. now. You are That's the one. You are the one. Right? You are the one who mentioned okay. this. Explain to me how in the world your prophet he says such a statement, claiming the one who told him that is Allah. Then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. Have you ever heard of a semen transform into blood, a dead blood, and then the dead blood became a baby? Okay. By the way, this is between me and you. You know, once what? once I left some semen in the counter, you know, and then second day I found a lot of blood there. Man, and the police came. They started questioning me. You killed who? Why the blood is here? I said I don't remember. Oh, what I remember, I bought like three kilograms of semen, and I don't know what happened. So like like overnight, Allah He blessed the semen, and then He grow. And became a congealed blood, and then the blood became a fetus. And they started questioning what? me, how in the world, who is the baby belong to who? Who is the mother? What you did? They accused me of abortion, and I killed the baby. And you know, I mean, the blood is all over the sink, the kitchen, the counter, everywhere. You know, even in the, like unbelievable a true story, by the way. I have witnesses from the Middle East. I paid them ten dollars each. So then, so, we, so then we made the sperm into a clot. A congealed it blood, a clot, right? Becomes, yeah, becomes a dead blood. Yeah. So according to you, according the to science, the according to the science, verb. the first step of the semen, the semen itself will transform and become a blood. No, hold on. The word alaqa is derived from the verb alaqa. Hold on, my friend. Let, I'm going to call. Great and print. Great and print. Right of all, in Middle East, we are going to donate a lot of blood. Zach and I, how you donate blood? Very simple. We donate semen, and then the semen by the morning will become a blood. Wonderful, man. You donate a semen to the bank of a blood, and the morning the semen will become a blood? No one said that. No one claimed it's that. It's in the front of you. It became. Yeah, became. Became. Look, the semen become. The semen become a congealed dead blood. Congealed is a yes, dead this blood. Is like, this is like sequential, right? First it's semen. Fertilize the egg, and then it's a blood. What is the egg? Blood, what is right? the egg? Uh, uh, can you can you read? You are the one who mentioned it, my friend, not me. It's sequential, though. Equential. Okay, Mr. Equential. Here it no, says. Sequential. Then we sequential. made sequential, Mr. Sequential. Okay, no, let me see. Listen, it says here we made the sperm. The sperm itself become a clot. Is that what science teach? Which one is the one multiply the cells? Is it the egg or the semen? Which one will it grow and make a baby? Is it the sperm of the man or the egg? Can I 
to talk? Or do you want to keep interrupting me? Uh, no, he will start complaining. I'm waiting for you to answer. Every time I try to talk, he explains. Every interrupt. time you, I'm speaking to you for the last two hours, okay. and now suddenly. The Quranic word alaqa shows the meaning clearly according to appearance and features at the embryo of the stage. Okay? According to the meaning coagulated or thick blood for the word alaqa, we find that it's the external appearance of the fetus, and its membranes resemble thick <laughs> coagulated blood. You are reading, from, you are part, reading from a Muslim website, an article. Our friend, read, read. It says, we made the sperm into a clot yes, of a congealed blood. So, fiqh, according to science, according to science, okay, my friend, according to science, does the semen transform to be blood? Yes or no? No, it doesn't transform into be blood. But this is what it says. We made no, the sperm, no. my friend, we made the sperm into into what? Into dead blood. But it's not saying that. You're not listening. Okay. Like. Let us go to Ibn Kathir to solve the problem again. Chapter 23, as long as you are the one who likes Ibn Kathir, let's go to Ibn Kathir. From now on, you will hate Ibn Kathir forever. This is chapter 23, verse number 14. Because I can say, uh, I, it means that. You say, no, it doesn't mean that. Let us go. To the middle between us, you know, we go to and see what Ibn Kathir. By the way, Ibn Kathir is a big fat liar. I'm just because you chose him, I'm using him. Otherwise, this guy he is like a YouTuber in his time, trying to the de, to defend Islam and uh, fabricating answers. So this is Ibn Kathir, as you see. <clears throat> uh, okay. Verse number okay. fourteen. Verse number fourteen. Look with me yeah. on the screen. Okay. Verse number fourteen. Here we go. And let us see what Ibn Kathir he said. If you want me to show you in Arabic, I will show you in Arabic, no problem. All right? Yeah. All right. You want Arabic? Sure, sure. Show All right. Arabic. All right, here we go. This is the Arabic, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Read for me and translate, please. Not seeing it on your screen. Oh. It's going to come to you. Wait a second. Okay. ثم خلقنا النطفة علقة فخلقنا العلقة مضعة فخلقنا المضعة عظاما فكسونا العظام لحما ثم أنشأناه خلقا آخر. Right. تبارك الله أحسن خالقين. So ثم خلقنا النطفة علقة. خلقنا النطفة علقة. We created the drop. Into a, a no, no, blood. read, 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 read what Ibn Kathir is saying. Don't, don't repeat the same verse. We did read the verse already many times. Read from here. Wali hada. Wali hada qala hada. Ayy, tum basu. Read, read. Read. Let everybody laugh. Hold on. I'm reading and trying to think of like how to say it. Man, oh man. Translate, go ahead. Translate. It's okay, don't, don't we, it's okay, nobody will laugh. Okay. So, what I'm getting, right? Well, uh, see, now you are in mute, in silence, and when I ask you to talk, to translate, you don't, um, you don't want to, I'm asking you, when I ask you to translate, suddenly you go in silence now. Totally in here. silence. It says in the front of here. us, let me translate as long as you refuse to translate. It says, and then we made, and we made the yeah. nutfa into, uh, 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 which is a, a water. That, low, low, can you not hear me? No, he don't low. hear me. Here we go. He play game so he can hang up. What are you talking about? I was, I was talking and then you cut me off. I did not cut you off. I but said, okay, translate me. for it. Translate, go ahead. Okay, so Allah basically is telling us like how uh, it was initially created. Translate, initial translate created what Ibn Kathir is saying, please. But you want the context. Translate what Ibn Kathir is saying, that is the contact. Okay, we made the nutfa, which is the water gushing forth, 
uh -huh. from the loins of the man, right? From the backbone, back from the from the bones of the man. From the loins of man. From the bone from the bones of the man. Read it. Min sulb al rajul. What are the loins, anyways? Sulb. Okay, sulb, sulb is, is the is the backbone. Okay, your prophet is the back. Anyway, wa huwa zahrahu. Loin is. It? Okay. Loin is the lowest ribs in the hip bones. Okay. Loins. Okay. This is literally, not metaphorically. Right? And it okay. becomes a red clot, like an elongated clot. Okay. Why you skip that? 